Hey, Sean here from SpeedCubeReview.com. So, SpeedCube Shop sent me a package, and I believe this has all the spookiest stuff in it. Let's check it out. Awesome. So we've got stickers. The wait, do they call it the Spooky Cube? <laughs> Let me check this out. I was just being silly, but maybe I'm correct. Spooky. Yes. Okay. So let's go step by step what's in here. This is all available right now. There's a whole bundle that's on sale I'm looking at. At the moment, that's like about 30% off. So you get a mat, a new cube, and the Halloween jack-o'-lantern lubricant. Okay, so this, oh wow. This is a very nice looking mat. <gasps> Ooh, it actually has these already built into it. Where's my timer? Where's my timer? Timer. There it is. Oh, that is so great. So it's it's a legit mat um, with the timer. Like this could be used at competitions. I don't know if they would. <laughs> um, might scare some people, but awesome. So yeah, so it has the rounded edges. I'll, I'll take a photo and send that because here, I'm gonna take a photo right now. Where's my, where's my phone? Um, phone. Okay, there we go. Yeah. This is a really nice mat. I, I hope Speed Cube Shop, if you're listening, Cameron, if you're listening, do more mats like this with where I can do the put the timer on. That is great. Onto the cube. So the cube is, I believe. Let's check this. I think it's a Yushin. It might be a Yushin fire. I believe that's what it is. Let me just check this out. Yeah, it looks like that. So it has a, some softer plastic. So it's very tight out of the box, but I was told that they purposefully asked for there to be no lubrication added to it. That way you can break it in and add your own lubrication to it. So there's not really any setup with it. Now, I really like that. I like to set up my own puzzles. We have these stickers with the pre-applied tape and the lubricant. So let's all set this up right now. One thing though about this, so the jack-o'-lantern lube, it's pumpkin spice scented, and I don't really know about the viscosity of this. Let's see here, does it say, it smells really nice. I really like the, the candy cane one as well. Oh, there it is. Okay, speed 9.5 out of 10, gummy 6 out of 10, heavy 3 out of 10. So it seems to be quite a thin lubricant. Um, do I have something to compare it to? Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to compare it when I've used other ones already, but awesome. So let's sticker this first. And I love that there's a transparency tape already on it. So let's figure out also what we want to do. I'm thinking white and yellow opposite, purple and green opposite, and then black and brown or gold opposite. Um, I'll do the white last. So let's get this black one on first. And I already have a video on how I sticker puzzles. I love that there's a transparency tape here. Let's get this on camera so I can get my head over here as well. I line it up. And then I put one side on first. Oh, that's a little bit close to that edge. There we go. That looks a little bit better. No, still not liking that. There we go. I like that. Okay, once I get this basically set, then I roll it on to make sure I don't have any giant bubbles anywhere. And that's all you need. You can already peel off this tape. I'm gonna peel off at a pretty sharp angle. Ooh, it's like a sparkly black. Yeah, that's nice. Go with the brown or gold. Excuse my voice, I just woke up. <laughs> I'm gonna have to add a little bit of lubricant to those springs as well. jack o lantern lube would look, would work fine. I have Vortex, but I'm gonna set it up as if this is the only thing you have. Now I turn this at an angle, that way there's not much flexing. It's already not flexing very much at all because it's a pretty stiff cube out of the box. Much easier, much faster. There we go, more of a, a taupe. <laughs> So I'm not relating any of these to, 
to like blue and green or red, I'm just going to sticker them randomly, but just make sure that this purple and green is opposite. Now, I just realized I have my, my last year's one here as well. And that center is the big difference. I don't know if you can see it yet, but that's going to be the big difference between them. Let's do good. Ooh, purple is kind of sparkly as well. Fun. I'm going to a school today to help out with some string players and get them prepared for different events. So maybe I'll bring this cube with me, let people have some spooky cube fun. There we go. The last few stickers just sort of fell down, so hopefully I didn't get any bubbles there. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I can sh I'm gonna show you guys a trick also with lubricating the springs that works about 50% of the time. Eh, maybe a little bit more than that, but a quick and easy way of doing that. And actually, the lighter the lube is, the easier it is. Look how fast I'm doing this now. Okay, final one. This, I'm excited to see how this looks. This is great. I actually really appreciate that we are given the chance to sticker and lubricate the puzzle. To me, that makes me feel like I appreciate the puzzle much more then because I'm the one who did everything. I'm the one who put that all together instead of just showing up and having everything on there. I know other people disagree. They'd rather, you know, someone else set it up, sticker it. I believe you can just ask and have that done. I'm not 100% sure on that, but ooh, that fits all the way at the edge. So that one you have to be very careful with, just warning. Looks like maybe a sticker didn't get quite cut all the way, but I like it because now it seems like the skull has an indent. But we've got an entire skull sticker thing. Okay, so let's set this up now and I'm only going to use the jack-o-lantern Lou. So I'm going to take out the caps and so that screw is a little bit hard to get to, but what we can do, and this is my trick, it's a very basic easy trick, but you just add lubricant right to the edges there and kind of push it around, hoping that some of this lubricant falls inside of there and then you just do a bunch of turns. And what you're trying to do is that lubricant to be to get inside of where that spring is, where the screws are. So I'll just leave that cap off. So that way it gets all the way down there. And what we're trying to do is get the lubricant on either ends of the spring. Honestly, you don't need to lubricate the springs really much at all, but what it can help with is making sure that you don't get that spring noise. It's not really slowing down the cube with any noticeable difference. And I don't really, I've never seen someone where the core of their cube wore out from springs turning, like the springs digging into the plastic. Okay, I've already done a few just simple turns like this and it's getting easier and easier to turn. So if you get your cube and it feels really, really, really stiff out of the box, just use it a bit more. Um, it will definitely open up a lot. And I have not even added lubrication to the pieces yet. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to work on all the springs, um, but this is our basic way of trying to do this. I'm loving the smell. Pro tip, if you have a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon and you want to have a sort of a fall flavor and you drink coffee, add a little bit... Oh, wrong sticker. Add a little bit of nutmeg and cinnamon to your coffee grounds, just a little bit, not a lot needed, and it can give that your coffee just a little bit of zest to it without having to add flavoring or add different creamers that have flavors. Okay, now this, what if I put this upside down? What does it look like? Oh, that was right. Let's do <laughs> upside down now. It's like a little face with a haircut, a buzz cut. <laughs> I think I like that one better. It's like a pumpkin with a buzz cut. Aw, oh, okay. Well, I'm not gonna be worried about that while solving. Oh, 
So now we need to add it to the pieces. I'm not going to do any tensioning, but I am going to add it just this. What I'm going to do is just do three or four drops here. So one, come on. If you get the smaller bottles, I think, what is it, three ounces, and this is 10 ounces, the smaller bottles deposit <laughs> the lubricant much more easily. If you have the thicker lube, especially Nebula, these ones can be quite difficult to get any bit of it out. Okay, so I'm just gonna really, really, really scramble it. Oh, immediately that's better, holy cow. I did not expect that much of a difference that fast. This is magic. It does feel very, very nice. The, the plastic is supposedly softer. Um, I mean, it doesn't sound super crunchy, but it's still, you know, a Yushin fire, so it's not anything crazy. I have to do some time solves. You know that's going to be a thing that I have to do now. Um... <coughs> Okay, I might have to stick to white cross and just get used to that, but I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, do a bunch of solves, and then we'll do 12 solves. I'll do 12, show some good ones, maybe some bad ones, and then we'll call it a day. Um, I'll do like a final thoughts on it right after that. Awesome. So this performs really well. I, you know, corner cuttings, decent for a budget puzzle. After adding just a few drops of lube, I can't believe how much this just opened up. Um, of course, we're not going to be used to set a competition, but this is something that I would feel comfortable going around and having people try. Maybe putting this in my office so people can, can play with it. But yeah. The, for the mat alone and the lubricant, I feel like this that, that bundle is totally worth it. Um, the lubricant's great. I might just order another one on my own just to have an extra one around. Um, same thing with the candy cane lube. When that comes around, I'll be ordering more of that. Um, but the mat is great and this lubricant is great. This is, I would almost say, the extra bonus on top of it. So thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Hit like, subscribe, more content like this in the future, and as always, stop by speedcubewithyou.com for more news and reviews.